and we're like, it feels like September out here I right now. I, mean, I know. It was just, it was like spring. It's, it's hard to hate. It I will was. say that, yeah. You know, although today, feeling the cold, fresh yeah. air, that crisp air, I was like, oh, I kind of needed this. Yeah, that's this is true. so weird. I'm yeah. going to document this, but I'm actually <laughs> liking this right now. But no, it was so nice. I wish we could have gotten more snow out of it. We really didn't get a whole lot as we saw those earlier totals, but it did make for some pretty scenery. We needed the snow this lone peak. Thanks to Robert Madison for sending in that photo. And then we just had this treasure of a time lapse uh, this evening. You could see the snow showers drifting south over the mountains. It brought out some color for the sunset. And of course, you can see the beautiful views there as the, hugs, as the clouds hug the mountains. And we try to get a little bit more snow going just before things got completely dark out there. We're back to dry now and the system is pulling away. Again, hoping that we can maybe tap into a little bit of lake effect. So far, not much happening. There's a chance we could get a few little snow showers coming in from the northwest overnight, but probably not going to amount to much. So this low pulls away. We'll have high pressure that'll slowly build in. Right now we're in between, and so we have this northerly flow. It's going to make for a very breezy night over in Castle Country, so make sure you have your decorations tied down tonight. As that low heads east and high pressure builds in, it does mean more dry conditions for us. But for now, we are in the cold spot. Northerly flow is going to drop those temperatures tonight. We're right at freezing at the airport. We'll see lows tonight in the low 20s. So it will be a cold one. We're already in the 20s in Price, 21 in Evanston, Cedar City 31, and 33 currently in Moab. Ely at 19 degrees. Your forecast for tomorrow, Christmas Eve day, we'll have temperatures in the mid-20s in the morning, some leftover clouds, and then the clouds break up. We'll get some sunshine going, so some passing clouds for tomorrow, and temperatures should be in the mid-30s as we head through the afternoon. So definitely feeling much more like winter, much more like Christmas. Uh, check out this picture, beautiful shot here, thanks to Trevor Williams for sending in this photo over in Tooele, which you'll really notice, Besides the beautiful Christmas lights is that fresh, crisp air. We are back to green in a big way, and that goes from Cache County down along the Wasatch Front, Bountiful, down towards Salt Lake, Draper, a few little areas still showing some moderate, but most of us back to green, and hopefully that will stick for a couple of days before high pressure brings in the haze midweek. Right now we're calling for the haze to come back on Wednesday, but we could see a little bit of it building in uh, by the day after Christmas. So look at how dry it is. This is Tuesday going into Wednesday, midweek, high pressure's over us. We have clouds and haze likely. The storm system just doesn't want to get here. We go through Thursday and Friday of next week. We're still dry. And it looks like potentially for the very last weekend of 2023, we could get a system. Right now, the track favors more of central and southern Utah to get the snow in the mountains. That's just a slight chance in northern Utah. We'll keep you posted on the track of that storm. Otherwise, we're bone dry all week. Temps in the low 30s tomorrow for central Utah, southern Utah, upper 40s for St. George, low 40s in Moab, your 70 forecast for St. George. Temperatures a little more crisp, 48 tomorrow, Christmas Day, 50 with a low of 26, and then mid 50s next week with mostly sunny skies. Temperatures for northern Utah, we have 20s for highs in Logan, West Valley, 33, 31 in Heber, Evanston at 26. And for the Wasatch Front, we'll have temperatures down into the low 20s tonight. Wasatch back, you're down into the low teens. So it is a very cold start to Christmas Eve, and your seven-day forecast shows Christmas Day will be chilly too. Partly sunny, 35, a low of 20 degrees, and then temperatures in the low 40s going into next week, likely dealing with some haze. Hopefully we're talking some snow chances next weekend. We need a lot more than what we just got, but at least we got a little and it cleared our air. So yeah, that was good. We'll take what we can get. Right. Thanks, Kristen. All right, Sam, this is, the, you are dressed for the holidays <laughs> tonight. Me too. Yeah, you got to get in spirit. If you think this is great, wait till you see me tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, you know what? <laughs>